Hello and welcome to the GMS Magazine channel. I am Paco Garcia, your host, and this is the How to Write Your Own Adventure series, a series that started with an idea of 20 episodes, but I don't know, it might be, you know, longer than that, it may be forever, who knows? Who knows? It depends on you uh, as well. So anyway, uh, in the previous episode, I was talking about writing what you like. Now, this episode is all going to be about knowing your audience, which is also very, very important because at the end of the day, you can write whatever it is you like, but it needs to be enjoyed by other people. Because what's the point of writing something that no one else is going to enjoy? You might as well write a novel, you know? Uh, if, but I'm sure somebody will enjoy it. I'm not saying that. Stop it. Anyway, the point is, you need to write the adventure with, mind, with, with the mind frame that somebody else is going to be playing it. And understanding who you want that adventure to be played by is actually quite important because it's going to determine to a great degree how you are going to write it and what's the tone that's that's going to be written in what kind of language you're going to use uh, what is the adult content that you're going to include within it how far you want to go how long you want to make it all those things are actually quite important things to do and depending on who you want your adventure to be played by then it, it will condition your workflow, it will condition the structure, is going to condition the length, is going to condition absolutely everything. If you're just going to write it for yourself and your friends, then talk to your group. In fact, just talk to your audience. If you want something like, say, adult nature, you know, something that's going to have very graphic content, both uh, violence and or themes of natural, you know, of mature. Um, aspects like tax returns or doing your accounts or having to go shopping or having to go to work that's sort of things that adults do um, then talk to the people who actually do those things go out online find out and ask and you know tell them I'm thinking about writing this adventure how do you think I should approach this have you seen something similar that you have enjoyed what worked and what didn't because at the end of the day i mean you could try for shock value to include some things that people are not going to expect you could try for shock value to just surprise in a very unpleasant way with things that people don't want i mean don't get me wrong if somebody comes in a DD or you know a call of cthulhu adventure and suddenly somebody confronts me with a horror of having to do my tax returns, I ain't gonna be happy. I'm just not. And of course I'm kind of joking about it. But change that tax return for something else and could dismantle the whole thing. So think about who is it the person who is going to play your adventure. Talk to them. Ask them. Make sure that as I said in the previous episode, you're writing about what you want, you're writing the adventure you want, but you can present it in a way that's going to make it more appealing, more palatable. Heck, even if you can, give different levels of, you know, approachability. It's very easy to, to change the adventure and, and have a little you know, snippet of text explaining if you don't like so-and-so-and-so content, then you can change it by so-and-so-and-so content. And uh, that way everybody's going to be an awful lot happier. But understanding who you want your audience to be makes perfect sense. If you want to mix two genres, like horror and science fiction, make sure that the people that you want to play this adventure with, or you want to play this adventure, will understand that that is what's going on. Now, introducing science fiction, sorry, introducing horror into science fiction, like in a Star Trek game, would probably rattle people up. Whereas taking it out of an alien game, it wouldn't make much sense at all. So you need to make sure that people are going to understand what's coming and talking to them is the easiest way of doing it. So know 
your audience. Make sure that what you're writing is something that they're going to be interested in. Thank you very much indeed for being there, as always. Uh, more episodes like this coming very, very soon. Uh, please leave me your comments in the video description. I very much look forward to hearing what you have to say. And until the next time, I will be talking to you very, very soon. Take care.